As most of you probably know, we adopted our son from Guatemala back in uh, 2003. And uh, we just fell in love with the country and the people there. And uh, we always wanted to go back on mission trips there one day. This will be the sixth year in a row that we're going during one week of the summer to Guatemala uh, to serve the people down there. So while we're there, we do various things, even though we're only working four or five days. But uh, the last two or three years, we've had a very successful women's uh, retreat. We're, we'll be doing that again this year. And then when we're there for the week, we build um, one or two block houses, uh, usually for a widow that might have children, uh, that kind of thing, that the churches have identified are in need. So we've done that several years in a row as well. And then they have a, a ministry they started several years ago called Happy Tummies, uh, where they're feeding local elementary age children. Um, they have been identified as, as doing poorly in school, mainly because of hunger. We help serve them a meal, and we um, we do like a mini VBS with them, like a vacation Bible school. And and then finally, they have a, a, a mission called uh, Abuelitos, which means little grandparents. So we'll do the same Bible lesson with them, and and uh, maybe do an art, a craft with them as well. The women's retreat, the first year we did that, we thought it was going to be for 25 women. And before it was all said and done, they had 212 women at this women's retreat. I mean, it was overflowing the place. It was just a real God moment. The first year that Blacksburg United Methodists went, we were built in this house. It had been damaged in an earthquake they had had. And uh, there was a little 11-year-old girl there. And uh, she skipped school to be with us one day, just to hang around with us. And we just, we talked about school and homework and things like that. And at the end, when we were getting ready to leave, she finally realized we were going to leave it. And she was just crying her eyes out when we were leaving. And it was just, it was just the sweetest moment, you know. And she wrote me, she even wrote me a letter in Spanish that they, that they translated for me later that day and stuff like that. It was really a great moment.